CadillacCoach.com, USA Senior Resident and ACGME Volume. What is the ACGME search requirement for these USA Ophthalmology Residency programs here? Now, we sped this video up to 4X, and we have a senior resident here operating on case number 40. And while that goes on in the background, let me tell you about all the resident resources available on CadillacCoach.com, including a free PDF book about learning Cadillac surgery. It's totally free. 25-part curriculum series. If you haven't done it, you are cheating yourself. You really need to put in a lot more effort here and make sure you understand all these things. Now, let's watch a little bit of this case, and we'll talk about surgical volume here. You know, I was recently lecturing in another part of the world, and the residents were worried that they weren't getting enough surgical volume during their training. Now, interestingly, these residents were doing, on average, three to 400 cataracts in the four years of residency. Um, that's pretty good clip. That's a darn good clip. By the way, that incision that was just made, mm, I don't know, it looks like a little bit of a Chevron sign, but we'll find out at the end of the case here. But remember, the purpose of residency is not to teach you some magical thing that you're going to do the rest of your life. No, no, no. You're going to evolve your techniques. The way you operate today is not the way you're going to do surgery in 10 years. So you want to learn the basics, the building blocks. Now, here are the requirements. This is the American College of Graduate Medical Education. In the USA, these hundred and something ophthalmology residency programs have these guidelines that they all follow. And we can see what the criteria is here. And look at that. Surprisingly, it only takes 86 cataracts. That's the minimum requirement from them. Now, a lot of programs you'll do more. I think your average residency program in the USA probably does 150 to 200 cataracts. I think anything above 300 is on the high end and anything in the 100 or less range is on the low end. But you can see here the minimum requirement is just 86 cases. Now look at laser surgery, YAG capsulotomy. Requirement, only five cases. Laser trabeculoplasty, let's say SLT or maybe the older ALT, five cases. Laser iridotomy, four cases. Panretinal photocoagulation. Now if you're a program that has a lot of diabetic or vascular uh, disease patients, you may do hundreds of these, but the requirement's only 10. Now, keratoplasty, see it says SA there? That's surgeon or assistant. You can do either. So keratoplasty, only five cases. That's just an interesting thing. You can see it's just, wow. Keratorefractive surgery, you could be surgeon or assistant, only six cases. Strabismus, 10 cases. And then glaucoma, tube shunts, trabeculectomy, five cases only. Mix procedures, just five. Retina vitreous, surgeon or assistant, 10 cases. And this is interesting. Intervental injection, only 10? I think a lot of our residents during the training will do that in an hour. So, or for sure in a day. So that's something you have to learn how to do. And oculoplastic procedures, total number 25. And you can see the numbers there for the others, the breakdown. Globe trauma, four cases. So this is a surprisingly low number. But remember... The purpose of residency is not to teach you every possible thing because surgery evolves with time. It really does. Surgery evolves with time. And you're not going to operate the same way in the future. Just think about this. When I did my surgical training, there was no lamellar corneal transplantation. There was no dual shine fluid tomogra uh, topography machine or tomography machines at all. There was no anti-VEGF medication. There was no OCT machine. There was no femtosecond laser. None of these things even existed. Certainly, you didn't have these trifocal lenses. We didn't have the same big IOLs we have now. Everything keeps advancing. The beauty in what we do in Catter Coach is we teach you every day. We keep advancing your skills. We'll show you always the latest and the greatest, so you will keep up in just five minutes a day. So... Remember, what is the purpose of residency? It is to gain a lot of experience and hands-on and to have good building blocks of surgical skill. Can you work with inside the eye? Can you work on the surface of the eye? And if you can, and you have those skills, you can learn any new future techniques. And there will be new techniques that you're going to have to learn. Five years, 10 years, 15 years from now, you will operate in a different manner. There will be procedures and technologies and techniques that you just don't have right now. So let's see the end of this case. This is a beautiful job, by the way. I apologize for not commenting more on this case, but for case 40, you're doing a fantastic job here. That looks great. Let's see the end of the case here. But make your comments below. What do you think about these ACGME requirements? Is this enough? 
Because remember, what's the learning curve for cataract surgery? It's at least a thousand cases. I'd say 500 is about halfway up that learning curve. So good job here. Please comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, there's so many great resident resources on cataractcoach.com, the free Cataract Coach PDF book, the whole curriculum series to learn FACO. You better sign up for the daily email. It's totally free.